Hey guys, we went on a little field trip today. Um, I just got back not that long ago from the run for a million. And um, anyway, uh, Carmine, you guys all know Carmine. Uh, he's, he's been on my videos for quite a while. I sent him out to a friend of mine, Steve Ross, uh, reigning and performance horses, which is where we're at right now. I sent him out to sell just because my schedule's been so busy. Uh, I just haven't had the time to be able to field calls and whatnot. Well, anyway, Steve told me that he has Carmine sold and the, the, the new owner um, that's, that's looking to buy him or that is buying him is here today. And um, I just want to meet this new person. I just want to, you know, kind of share with him a little bit my experience with Carmine and whatnot. I just kind of want to see what's going on. Steve's been fantastic in the past. Like if I've gotten in spots where I've needed to, you know, again, sell a horse, typically it's because I'm so busy and I can't, uh, I can't do everything um, all the time. He's been so good about matching up horses with riders and it's always been a great experience. So let's go in and let's go see if we can find Steve. This is uh, Four Peaks Ranch is where he trains out of here. Lots of action, he's got cattle, he's got roping and stuff going on. So, uh, you know, great, great for those horses to get exposed to that as well. But let's, let's go in there and take a look. I also, I brought, I brought a little, little swag. I'll show you guys. This was from the run for a million. Hopefully it fits somebody. Got a little hanging with Matt t-shirt with the run for a million logo on the back. Got a black one. And we'll get this all up on, uh, on the store too. This stuff, literally, we just got it back. So uh, there's some new hats. We've got some hoodies. Got some really cool stuff. Let's take this in. Let's go see if we can find them. Hi, Matt. How's it going? Great. How are you? Good. Matt, this is Brooke Ulrich. Hey, Matt. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. How you doing? Good. How are you? Real good. Real good. You're not feeling too good today. I've, I felt better. I'm not. I'm not dying, but I felt better. Well, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you from again? Washington. Washington. Yeah, Western Washington. Awesome. I was just saying, Steve, you're like the master at like finding matching horses and riders together. This horse I've had for quite a while. He's, I know just about probably everything about this horse. I've been following him for as long as you've had him. So this is a pretty big deal for me. That's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty That's cool awesome. The way it all came together. Yeah, so, um, so how'd, you find, how'd you find him? I was just, I sold a couple of mine. I had a couple of performance horses. I ride with Doug Stroud up in Western Washington uh -huh. and had a couple with him that I sold and was just starting my search and saw a bunch of really nice horses on Steve's page and came down to try three of them. And by the time I got down here, the other two had sold and he was the one I was in love with anyways. Awesome. <laughs> he seems to be a perfect match. He did a fantastic job. Not well, that that's news to anyone. Well, thank you. Thank you. So obviously you guys rode him around and stuff. And she rode him when she bought him, and then she came down for a couple days this time. She rode him last night. We're going to go stop him today, but she's getting along great with him. As soon as they learn each other, like Carmine's happy to operate right there at that non-pro level. Yeah. You know, he's not being asked as much, so he likes that. Doesn't have to run as hard, but... Um, I ask a lot out of it. Yeah, but he's good. Like, we work on speed control for health, speed control for low, sending him up, sending him back. Yeah. Um, you know, the hard stuff for him is so easy, like lead change and stop and turn. And, um, she's had no trouble with that. Really had no trouble at all, but I'm just getting her playing around with the little stuff, all the non raining stuff. Because um, all the, like you say, all the hard stuff is oh, yeah. it's already there, so we don't have to worry about that as much. I think yeah, you put we had a couple really nice stops the last time I was down here, which was the best part. I believe it. This horse, I mean, talent wise, is incredible. And I think, you know, going forward, Taking, turning it down just a notch is going to be perfect for me. He's got such a great demeanor, as you can. I can mm -hmm. see you're getting along just fine with him. <laughs> um, I told you from the beginning, he's a quirky horse. But he's a good horse. He, he requires a lot of attention. She loves his quirks, though. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I do too. too. I love it. I do too. You know, unfortunately, we can't keep them all, and so it's great to see those. Great to see him go somewhere to where somebody, you know, appreciates them. Is going to do good with him. Yeah, I can tell he was always one of your favorites. Oh yeah, when I jumped off of him, off the last cowboy, that was maybe a little bit of a, you know. That was a moment for the two of you. Well, it was a Monday and... Um, you were being smart. I knew. I knew, I was like, you know what, I'm on hard ground. Let me just jump on, and that's when he was a stallion too. Which is funny, as a stud, 
he wasn't near as like personable like he is now. You know, and as soon as we gelded him, he just like turned into a big dog. <laughs> He's like a big dog. Yeah. So you're gonna ride him now? We're it's gonna up wait. To you guys. We're gonna we're wait a little bit. Do the meet and greet, and then okay. we got to get his feet done and braid his mane and tail back up, and then we were gonna ride after he did. I didn't know how you wanted to set this up, so. Just... Yeah, I just wanted to kind of. I wanted to see who was getting my horse. <laughs> Make sure you're all right. Steve told me a little bit about you. I trusted him. Steve, you get um, you get all your action where on your Facebook page. How do people find you? All from that. Just from Facebook and a lot of networking, you know. But um, our Facebook page has done a great job for us. Our social media um, because it allows us to put full videos, pictures, all the information about the horses. So um, and, you know, you warned me when you sent me this horse. So this is a pretty well-known horse. Yeah. Like, um, people are going to know him, and you kind of smile. I didn't realize to the extent how well known he was. Yeah. And it was funny because Brooke knew more about him than I did. Um, I knew I loved him, but um, it was so neat when she came down and tried him and just to see her kind of connect with him. And uh, we had some conversations with her trainer, and I think he called you too. Yep. And everybody was on the same page. We had a real understanding of where he was. and what would have to happen for these two to kind of make a mm -hmm. power couple. And I think we're on the way to doing that. Steve, just, just for you. Now, I see she's got a Kimes hat on already, which I love that. I brought you a nice low-cut uh, V-neck oh. shirt. <laughs> That's good. It won't make my butt look fat. Just <laughs> one leg. No, I took a stab. We got some merch. I was just saying, I just got back from the run for a million and uh, got some new, some new merchandise that uh, hasn't even hit my store yet that um, we'll have to get figure out what size. Are you going to be here for a couple days? Yeah, I leave tomorrow. You leave tomorrow. So yeah. maybe uh, maybe we can get you set up with uh, some of the new stuff that I have. And I would love to hear about how things progress with uh, with you and Carmine. Any questions and stuff Thank maybe you, you might so have? Much. Yeah. It really does mean the world. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited. Absolutely. He's been great so far. We get along really well. And he's so talented. So anyway, give me that shirt back. It really wasn't for you. <laughs> That was for her. But uh, so anyway, I, I think this looks fantastic to me. It looks like a great match. Thank you so much. It's great. If you want, uh, she's not staying far. Maybe she could stop by the ranch and you could juice her up with some merch. Or sure. Absolutely. Come show you the place. I come, would love that. Yeah. 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 This come check all, it out. All of this has just been a dream come true for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. That'd be a blast. I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. It's, it's not far away. And uh, yeah, we can get you some shirts and hats and whatnot. I'm gonna let you guys get back to it then. Man, but, I uh, really appreciate you coming by and meeting Brooke and just helping in this transition. You know, it's, I always feel like it's the biggest benefit for an owner when the person that's developed the horse can just sort of cut down that learning curve and say, well, yeah. this works, that doesn't work. He likes this, he doesn't like that. And I've done it to the extent that we know him. Uh, he's a pretty open book, but it's, it's great for our business and for our clients like Brooke. Um, that we can have somebody like you that cares enough about every horse to kind of invest a little time, come by, check it out. Um, I know I speak for Brooke when I say I'm really grateful that you take time to do that because we know how busy you are. You know? Oh, my pleasure. Well, and all the time that you spent talking to my trainer and for coming out here, I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. I know you've absolutely. got plenty of other stuff going on. Ah, uh, got a couple <laughs> things going on. Had a couple things going on. I think I'm going to head back to the ranch. I got to go mess all with right. a Mustang. Go do Sounds it. Fun. You can see my Mustang. I would love that. Am I going to be one of the first to see your Mustang? You would be the first person to see it. I'll him. take it. Yeah. Did I tell you about that? I heard some rumor about it. I got a Mustang named Raven. I just, actually, I think we just, not that long ago, released that episode where I drove down to Florence. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hey guys, and it was great to see Carmine's new owner yesterday. Um, today, we've actually got to go back to Rio Verde again. Get to go to Andy Mashke's to his shop. Uh, get to see where he does everything. Get to see his tools. Really excited for you guys to see that. It's incredible. It's like honestly going to, uh, it's like going to a museum almost. Yeah, I'm running short on time, but I want you guys to see Raven. We're gonna go over and take a look at him. I've been doing a few things with him. I don't have time to get him out. And, um, and show you where he's at. But um, let's go take a quick peek, look at him in a stall. All right, let's go have a look at Raven. You guys all saw his hooves were like a mile long. We got him trimmed once, but it's time to get him trimmed again. I've been working with him a ton to try to get him 
to where he'll be real easy, safe for the farrier to, to trim. Hey, bud. So much better already. Had to get the dreadlocks out. If you guys saw my Instagram story, you saw bath day. And it was me doing it, which is kind of, it's kind of funny. Like, I guess not really funny, but normally I'm not like doing this, but I, I kind of feel like this is my horse, so I wash him myself. Hi, hey, buddy. You know he's got to be loving having his choice of grass hay or alfalfa. He's not snorting at me anymore. Hey, bud. You can see he's not missing any meals now. All right, there's, uh, there's your raven sighting. We gotta head out to Andy's. We don't wanna be late. That's one thing with Andy. Gotta be on time or he's gonna definitely let me know about it. See you later, Raven. I don't know, he seems like just like any other horse to me. We get a ton of messages from people, which is awesome. Like, it's mostly all good, like telling me what I should look out for, et cetera, et cetera, which that's awesome, I love all that. Um, and then I've got some people that are like, you know, have stuff to say, but whatever, who cares about that? This has actually been kind of fun. It's been a lot of fun. All right, enough of that. Let's head, let's over to Andy's. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. 29, G5, Seaside. I've been looking for and find a peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. Who needs Willie Nelson when you got Drake? All right, we're here, Annie Mashke's place. Um, Superior Saddles, that's Andy Mashke. We're here at his shop right here in Scottsdale. Um, not many people get a chance to actually see where the saddles that Andy makes comes from. This is at his house, he's let us in. Come on, let's go check him out. This guy is like, he's a true artist. I mean, he's making saddles, but I think you'll see, um, I've been over to his house. He's like an incredible chef. He's a musician, he makes the saddles. Um, he's a photographer. He's just like one of those guys that's kind of a little bit, in, he's into a little bit of everything, and he's like really good at all of them. Hey, man. Andy. Good to see you, man. Come on. Thanks for having us over. Sure. I was already telling everybody we we're coming over here and mm -hmm. getting a chance to actually see the guy that makes all these incredible saddles and then everything else. And that's what I wanted everyone to see is like, you know, your shop and, you know, they see the final product, but they don't get a chance to see like okay. how it's made. That. And so Superior Saddles is yours. Yeah, that's mine too. Um, that's where I make more like a semi custom saddle um, where we use components that fit together extremely well, have been tested for many, many years. And uh, it's, you know, not on the same uh, artistic level yeah. like my saddles, but uh, the guys that work for me and the girls, I trained them personally for many, many years. I have my employees are with me for 15, 20 years, some of them. And um, so I'm very proud to have a crew that's, you know, with me for that long time. Well, and I, I have, I've got pretty much all the stuff that you've made, but yourself. So I'm, I'm kind of spoiled that way. But your superior line, we've got a couple of those. It is, I mean, it's a great name for it. I mean, those saddles are so good compared to some of the other ones out there. So that's a testament to, you know, the artist you have in there. But let's look around real quick. Matter of fact, we got to, I got to, you guys got to see this saddle right here. This is, anytime I come into Andy's house, I sit and like stare. It's like walking in like the Ferrari dealership. Like this saddle just calls my name. And I've got two nice show yeah, saddles. It your name on it, believe it or not. <laughs> really? Look, he's already setting me up for a sale. So tell me, like, what's the deal with this saddle? Okay, this is actually the first saddle that I built when I said, I want to do like a signature line. I was working out of my shop in Texas and um, I saw people like Don Lazan and some, some high-end custom saddle makers doing their line and selling the saddles for a whole lot of money. And I said, I can do that too. And I wanted to make a statement. So 
I included the first time, I think, in a performance saddle. I'm not saying in a buckaroo saddle they used wood horns, exposed wood, wood horns before, but I wanted to do it in a performance saddle too. Also the inlaid American crocodile seat. The silver was my first project, uh, gun engraving. Yeah, you did the silver yeah. yourself. Like this, I don't think you guys understand. This doesn't typically happen. That somebody does everything. I know we had Andy out and he showed us the trees, which I learned a ton about that. If you haven't watched that episode, go back and watch on saddle fitting. But the fact, like I was telling you coming in, like that's nuts. I was telling him like he's a musician, he can cook, he can do all this stuff, like probably make a great wife. But, uh, <laughs> but the fact that you did, look at the silver, that is nuts. He's doing everything. Well, if this saddle comes up missing, I tell you this every time, you probably know where that thing's gonna be at. It's gonna be in my house. Okay. <laughs> Can we see the shop? Of course, of course. Let's go check that out. You guys gotta see this. I mean, we could be in Andy's house. I told you it's like a museum. Look at all the artwork and stuff he has. How about this thing right here? Yeah. I could probably eat, I could eat lunch on this right here. Have a look at this. I mean, you come in here and look around and it's like now you can kind of understand how much time and effort goes into making these saddles. Here I'm working, this is a little project that I'm doing for your favorite uh, head company. That has got to be Shorty's? Yes, it is. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Shorty. They uh, asked me to do uh, a head cam. So I was working on patterns this last weekend. My wife is gone, so I had nothing else to do. Right. Good glass of wine. And I was trying to figure out how this little turtle case here is constructed. And I had to find out it's not symmetrical. So each part is different. Mm. So I had to come up with some sort of a pattern that works. But when you see this all coming together, which the tooling part will here, be here and here and the logo on this side and this one will be exotic leather and I use elephant just for the prototype because I had it available we can use gator we can also use exotic prints that is and nuts. then it will have like a border around it and the border looks like this here believe it or not you know it will fit perfectly wow around and that will be stitched to the exotic leather and the top piece here you get a picture look at that and then it will be back stitched around your nice tooling around it basically that's awesome leave it to shorties to take something and find somebody to make it better I mean, look at, look at this too. This was something I wanted everyone to see. I've told I've, I've been bragging on you about, you're not making just saddles. Like you're, I mean, look at that head stall, the, uh, the stirrup, the uh, spur straps. I mean, look at that. Where can they find them? Can they order this? Cause I have people they that- They can order it. Um, I always have samples with me, um, have different cheap pieces. You know, from uh, the one that you have with the square bottom. Do they go to Superior or they go to, the, to AM Saddles? No, that, that's my stop because I really put a lot of effort in, in to make extra beautiful, nice stitching. Look you at know, the detail. Put a square case. concha on here or even a quadrofoil concha looks good on this one. We're not at the Ford Probably. dealership here right now. We're, we're at a fancy... What's your favorite sports car? European? I like AMGs from Mercedes. Oh, they gave me go. the inspiration for the wood horn. You know, oh, really? When I was sitting in my car, I thought, okay, when they put wood in a car, why can't I put wood on a saddle? You know, and it, it, it seems to work like this one. Look at this. Was actually, uh, the, the first one that I had built was for Taylor. For the run for the million. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a run um, for a million saddle. For the first one. That's sitting in his house right now. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And the idea was the char of saddles here again, they always have an exposed candle, but it needs to be beefier than the regular candles. For example, here this is a regular candle. You see how skinny that is compared to that one. Yeah. And so I made a prototype, had it scanned, then cut out, uh, actually corrected it in CAT uh, on a computer to make it absolutely symmetrical. Um, then source the wood. Here, for example, this is called quilted maple. Look at that. And when you have your finish on it, that oil, it's really 
you know, it really has a lot of 3D features in it. And that's what this is. This is like the ultimate. Like if you're into having the best of the best, this is it right here. But like, you know, like you were saying, the Superior line is very, very good. But if you want that next step up, yeah. which who doesn't, this is it. And but yeah. now, like you said, you can see why. There's so much going on in here. It's like overwhelming. So I mean, like this saddle here, this looks like a cow horse saddle. Yeah, that cow saddle is actually one of my shop from uh, Texas. Oh look, oh yeah, look at this. Look, this yeah, look at this. Look at the quality in this. This is, this is one of the superiors. I just, like I said, I want everybody to get a chance to see where you're making these saddles and the craftsmanship, and, you know, the time that goes into mm -hmm. every one of the saddles. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, there's, you got to play. Just can you play a little bit on the keyboard? <laughs> okay. Just something. You guys got to see this. This guy can do everything. You mind? No. We got to do a little bit. All right. This sounds like Phil Collins to me. Mike Tyson and we need like some tigers. Right. <laughs> nice. Andy, that's something. You got some talent. So if somebody buys a saddle, they get a concert with it or? Or a free dinner. A free dinner. We can cook too, or barbecue. Dinner, <laughs> or concert, you all of it. You can I'm get not dancing, so. <laughs> no, yeah, well, thank you. Please, no dancing. No, no dancing. Way. All right, well, I got to head back. Sure. I know you're busy. Thank you for spending the time here. It was oh. really a pleasure. Thanks for having us along. I guarantee everybody likes seeing this stuff. So <laughs> that is it, guys. I have got to get back and actually ride some horses now. Follow me on Instagram, uh, YouTube. Check out the Mustang Raven. He is, uh, he is something else. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to, I got a Mustang. I think I told you about it. I, Maybe. Saw, I saw some videos. Oh yeah, so when it comes time, I think we're gonna need a Raven saddle. I'm gonna have to come and fit a saddle to Raven to this Mustang. I think he's gonna be pretty cool. Okay. Um, I've got big plans for him. So you guys check that out on YouTube and uh, check Andy out, amsaddles.com. We got a link down below for you. Check out Superior Saddles. You'll see him down the road at a show. I don't care if he looks like he's not approachable, he's very approachable. So if you see him, if you see him in a booth, go up and say hello and uh, check his stuff out. He's got some incredible equipment. Catch you later.